Oh, look at this angelic creation. Hey, 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 what's up, B Squad? Today I'm gonna show you how to make the best sweet pungal. It's a sweet rice porridge made with jaggery, warming spices, and nuts. It's often eaten during the harvest festival of pungal, but it's too good to not enjoy during the other days as well. So let's get it. So first, we're gonna start off by cooking our rice and moong dal. I've got some ghee warming up here and I'm just gonna toast our rinsed moong and rice. Toasting our lentils and grain is going to help develop and release a deeper, nuttier flavor into the dish. Once it's lightly toasted and you can start to smell the essence of the moong, I'm just gonna add in our water. And lastly, some salt. Salting the rice here versus at the end is going to flavor each grain from the inside out. Cool, and just cook this how you would normally cook rice. I'm pressure cooking it here, but on the stovetop or even in the rice cooker works just fine. All right, so this looks good. Set this aside for now. And now we're just gonna toast our nuts. I've got some ghee in here. Add in our cashews first since they take a little longer and then our raisins. You just want to lightly pan fry this until the cashews develop some color and the raisins balloon up. If you want the exact measurements, check out the description box below. I'll write out a full length recipe so you can make this sweet pungal at home. And while you're down there, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button to keep seeing more delicious recipes. Now for our jaggery syrup. In the same pan here, I'm gonna melt in some jaggery with some water. And just as this starts to bubble, I'm gonna flavor this with some cardamom powder, some clove powder, some cinnamon, and some nutmeg that I'm just going to grate in. Alright, so give this a good stir to let the spices bloom. And as it comes to a steady simmer, I'm going to add back in our nuts and our rice and just combine this. Slightly mashing up the rice and adjusting the consistency as needed with either water or milk, which is going to impart more flavor, richness, and the ultimate creaminess. And you can just top this off with more ghee. And there you have it, folks. Sweet fungal. 